Hello there and welcome. So this is the second episode in my aquaponics experiment. Now if you watched the first episode you will know that I had a few errors with my equipment uh, that needed to be resolved before I could continue. So I am fortunate enough to have received a few products to help me out. Now these were gifted to me free of charge um, by a company called Blagden and also I have some stuff from Interpet. So if you remember I had a pump which wasn't really performing up to scratch and it was very noisy and I just needed a replacement. Now initially I was going to use a small internal filter and actually use that to pump the water. But I have been given a pump by Blagden. This is one of their feature pumps so it is actually ideal for what I'm using it for. It has an automatic shut off so if it ever runs dry it's going to turn off but I don't think that's going to happen in this situation. But that is what I'm going to be using now to pump the water from the bottom aquarium to the top reservoir where the plants will be growing. Another thing that I have received is this pond oxygenator. So I do need an air pump for that system. Um, firstly to give the goldfish some oxygen when this shed's going to get quite hot, the oxygen in the water is going to go down so they're going to need extra aeration. So that's what I'm going to use this for. It's quite a big one, it's for a big pond and it's just been released by Blagden so I'm probably going to go through this in another video and actually have a look at this in more depth but that's really cool. And I've also been given um, this light. So this is from Interpet and it's a tri-spec. This is the first generation of this light. There is a newer version um, which has a lensing and can be controlled by Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or something like that. But this is the original version with the on-off switch. Only real difference is it doesn't have the lensing, which is actually better for me because it means that the light doesn't get focused directly onto a plant. It will be a more even light throughout the whole aquaponics system. So I'm going to be using this instead of the Chinesium blur pool that I was going to be using. Uh, I'll just use this instead because it's a full spectrum light, grows plants really well, so I know this is going to work. Okay, so this is the pump and I've been using it for a couple of days now. So there was a bit of a lapse between the first part of this video and now. Um, so I've had this pump running for a bit and it is working very well. Um, it's really quiet, you can't hear it. Even in a perfectly quiet room, you would barely hear a hum off of this thing. So I'm very pleased. Compared to the last one that I had in there, this is basically silent. Um, it's also got this cool feature, which I've been using, and that is the flow control. Um, hard to do one-handed, but basically that thing turns and it allows you to control the flow. Just while I install it, I'll actually show you this other feature, which is the run dry mode. So this pump's actually plugged in right now. Um, um, there it is plugged in and it's not on and that's because it's got a smart sensor in the actual unit which tells it there's no water around it so the minute I put it in there it turns back on again so it's pretty neat actually it's quite a neat little feature right well anyway let's have a look at the actual setup now um, so in the last video I didn't have this spray by it was something that I was going to say I was going to add to it and I have and it's worked a lot better the flow is now equally dispersed throughout the whole of the top tray rather than it just being coming out in one area and flowing straight down the hole. Now if you're eagle-eyed you'll actually see that there are some plants growing in here. So let's just have a look at the lighting. So this is the Interpet Tri-Spec. It's been on the system for about a week as well now and it's, um, well, it's providing good light. You can see that it has three colours of light on there, red, blue and white and they are controllable via this rocker switch which is actually quite a nice feature nowadays rather than having a Bluetooth app or something similar. So looking at the actual aquaponic system it seems to be working really well especially with the updated design, with the good lighting, with the good pump we are starting to win. Now last week um, I added some Pak Choi seeds to this bed. I actually recorded the whole thing but unfortunately the data was corrupted and I've kind of missed a step in my videos. So skip ahead a week and this is where we are. I've sprinkled Pak Choi over and they've germinated. Um, quite a lot of germination in fact. You can see there are a few seeds which haven't germinated but I think they'll get there. There's one, there's a couple there that are starting to go. Now the beauty of these clay balls is they suck the moisture upwards and the entire bed is moist. It's not submerged in water but it stays moist. And that's what has helped these seeds to germinate really quickly. In fact, I think they started germinating about four days after I put them in there, which is really good. 
So all I have to do now is keep the light on and keep the pump on and these should grow. Now the second part of aquaponics is actually adding fish, which I haven't done yet. Um, I'm going to be adding them probably in the next couple of days. One thing I want to do first though is get some gravel in there, just so that the fish have got something in there to root around in. It's just going to be some nice ranchy goldfish that I've already picked out and they're waiting to go in. So in summary, I think everything is going really well. Um, challenges so far have obviously just been equipment based. The thing I have noticed is, that, I mean I've cleaned it now, but at the top of these beads, where you get evaporation, you actually do get a salt build up. Um, you can just about see it on that one there in fact. So this white crusty stuff. Now I have been periodically sort of rolling these balls over, but once the plants start growing, I'm not going to do that. So this is something I need to keep an eye on, is actually the minerals available to them, because we're going to get a crusty, salty layer on these balls, um, and that is a problem we'll probably have to encounter later on. But so far so good, um, I will definitely update you once these plants start to grow, once we've got the fish in, we'll come back to this and have a look how we're doing in a couple of weeks. So if you'd like to see more of this kind of content, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and happy fish keeping!